Hi, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching and with the Help Academy Sports Coach 2022. I want to talk to you about a session that I've designed um, based on the role of fullbacks when defending. And uh, I got a lot of the ideas for this session from the book, The Role of Fullback Defending by Luca Bertolini, that will be available on the website. Um, I'll put that in the comment section so you can check that out uh, and download the book for yourself if you're a uh, member of World Class Coaching. Um, so, you know, I started this session uh with just the basic concepts of defending, getting, making sure our, our players are always kind of reminded of the, the basic principles of the 1v1 defending, and then adding guys as we went along to kind of make scale it up to that full um, four back, three back, whatever it may be, and making it more game like. So I start off, um, I, I really like this um, this particular drill because you can utilize it for a lot of things. If you're trying to teach 1v1, you're trying to teach passing, you're trying to look at defensive pressure, um, you're trying to look at putting off passing lanes. Um, you can, depending on what you want to make the focus, you can do a lot of things with it. So the concept is this player or this player, where it is, passes to the other player in the middle, they go 1v1. They go in. This next player is the target for this player. This player is looking to play to this player. So this player takes the ball, they make a move, they cut here. This player creates an angle for them, and they play a pass. Immediately then, this player goes to the end of this line. This player goes to the end of this line, and then it's a 1v1 over here. So it's just a continuous 1v1 session. Now, what I would focus on here for, if you're going to focus on the defensive side of it, is you play this pass and you're reading the certain uh, visual cues. You're, you're reading about where the first touch is. You're reading the situation of um, where are they trying to play? How far did, is the, the first touch away from their body? Uh, you're going to you can teach getting touch tight. You can teach uh, the body shape, checking their shoulder, seeing where the other guy is and cutting off the passing lane, driving them into the outside um, uh, uh, out of bounds area. Okay. So we're just going over these basic principles of how you want your team to defend, what you're really looking for your fullbacks to do when they're in a 1v1 situation. And every situation is different because it's going to depend on where this guy receives a pass. If the next guy, yellow wins the ball here because they took it off this, his, uh, his foot, and this pass is here, okay, this defender who's standing in the middle now has to defend in a different way than if they just played a, a, a single ball right up the gut. Um so we're getting a lot of different situations, a lot of different visual cues. And we're really activating the concept of, of 1v1 defending. What I would do from here is I would make the box even bigger, depending on your age group. And I would extend it with a goal on this side. Okay. And we can flip it if we want to work on our, our right backs. But for our left backs, what we'd work on here, maybe you have this simultaneously going another drill off to the side here. But we have a 2v1. And we start the pass with a through ball here to this player. The center back is going to guard like a center back. This player is going to play off the ball. What we're going to look to do is, um, depending on what we want to do defensively, maybe we want to force this guy outside. Maybe we, you know, uh, we have the pace we can deal with that. Maybe we'd rather push him into our cover and force his pass so the center back can go take it. But we're going to work on a number of situations to be one with the concept of how will this player interact with the center back? How will the center back um, you know, create a line between themselves and the ball to make sure that there's no ball played through um, say here, they're providing the, the cover for this pass, uh, make sure that they're in a position where they can cut that pass off. So we've gone from working on the individual defending to now we're working on that system where can they defend within, um, in collaboration with the center back with the goal on their right side. And again, I maybe have a, a, the exact same thing set up on the other side uh, where you have uh, it going simultaneously and a goal set up here, or we can just flip the goals, whatever it may be. All right. So we're just trying to recreate as many situations as we can where uh, in a defensive situation, how would these two players interact and how would this player's body shape force the ball one way or the other? Now we'd flip it here. Let me get two defenders. Got four defenders. The ball here. Guy here. This guy here. This guy here. We'll get these two guys off the field these two guys on the field and we'll extend it in the pattern that we're going to recreate what happens at a full 4v4 situation so we'll back here now there's a lot of different situations we can recreate from this um this setup obviously but what i like to do here is play a position where we're tight this ball is played lofted over the top. If I can get it to go. There we go. A lofted pass over the top that this player then runs through. Oh, not dribbles through. 
runs through two. And the defense then has to drop. Maybe we set up cones here um, so that denotes where they have to start. But we're recreating the situation in a very sterile environment. We're saying this is what's going to happen. And then we're playing it live from this situation. Where it's player at the top, this player then needs to drop back. And we're working on getting our shape when a ball, when the line is broken, and getting in a way that this is a pressure guy, this cover guy. And then we can even talk about on the outside fullback, um, covers for balance. We get tight on this situation. Um, so, again, we're going from 1v1 to 2v2 to 4v4 because we're building up the concept of the relationships between the fullback and the center backs. Um, now, uh, we're doing both at the same time. We're doing ball side and backside fullback defending. What I would then do is take away the situational um, specific pass, and we would just play a full game uh, with, um, let's say we'll play – we're going to play a 4 4 2. We'll play with our, our, um, our midfield and we'll set up goals as our targets for our attacking players. If you have too many players, this also could just be a target guys that's in a line, plays the forwards, and we're looking to get the ball to them. And then we play, we add a few more black players in here. And we play a straight up game. Uh, this is this in this game, we could put conditions in, such as if a fullback. Um, uh, when cut is able to cut off a pass, if the fullback is able to force a guy out of bounds, um, whatever the, the goal of our fullback defending in our system, whatever we're looking for, we award points for that at this point. We're not really getting into, um, we're not getting into, uh, the more realistic side of the game right now. We're really just trying to recreate situations now, making it much more game like in that there's more players, it's in half field, there's targets, things like that. It's not as sterile as we're tar- starting this pass, and this pass has to go to this place, and then we're going to go from there. But we're going to recreate the situations we saw um, as many times as possible. We're going to find a ball out wide, and we're going to see a 1v1 situation here where we're forcing into the cover um, with our fullback or our winger. Um, so, again, recreating that situation as much as, as possible, but as realistic as possible. Then we'd flip it. We'd clear the field here, and we play – can I get a full field here? Play a full field game. Um, you can go right into the game here and say, all right, we're going to go play just full field game. Can we play this? You can create situations where um, if a fullback wins a pass and they complete the uh, counter pass, if they can play a ball to the winger after they've won it, um, whatever it may be, then you can kind of up the situation there um, and make it you know, more based on the fullbacks rather than the fluid game and utilizing um, what you've taught in the session and trying to see if they will come out in actual play. Uh, that's totally up to you. Uh, I like to just jump into the game and say, okay, well, here we go. We've learned something. Can we actually do it within the context of the game? Um, I'm not going to give you extra points for doing what you're supposed to do, just kind of that kind of concept. But, again, totally up to you. If you if you feel that the players need to be incentivized, that's something you can do in this final game before you go into um, totally no rules, play the game, um, and let it run. Um, so, I'd like to hear in comments, you know, what you guys do with your fullbacks. How do you utilize them defensively? Um, do you like to push the, you know, uh, the ball down wide and, and push it further away from goal? Do you like your guys to be more aggressive and try to win balls because they know they have the cover of the center back? How do you like to use um, your defensive fullbacks in a game? So, again, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching and the Help of Academy Sports Coach 2022 and the book Role of the Fullback Defending by Luca Bertolini. That will be available. Um, the link will be in the comment section. Uh, I hope the session finds you well.